Hello everyone, my name is Vernon John Ledger, and today I'm going to share with you an exercise called Ape Arms. This exercise increases your oxygen intake by 50%. And as I'm doing the exercise, I'm going to explain a little bit about the right way to do it and what you don't want to do. And after the video is done, I'm going to share a little a question with you and when, when you answer the question you have ent entered into a draw to win this <laughs> no problem everyone loves twister it's a good fun game here we go this one is called ape arms i'm gonna do it for about two or three minutes Okay, so this is actually a qigong exercise. 50% your oxygen level. What a great time to have something like this in your toolkit. When you wake up, it keeps you energized, it helps you sleep better, and it feels you feel like power. you can breathe deeper when you do it. So here's the ape, ape arms, as they call it. Notice my arms going up, right over here, and back. I'm feeling right, right around here. You want to make sure that you're straight, you're not slouching or too far leaned back. You want to make sure that your neck is good. It might help to do some deep breathing as you do this. It's a really good energizer. If you have some kind of mild asthma, like myself, um, and like my brother, we were cleaning a house one time, and then I suggested that we just do this for a bit. And it did help temporarily. My brother has acute asthma. Well, I have mild asthma. So this oxygen, increase of oxygen by doing this exercise here is really good. And you don't have to stand in one spot while you do it. You can walk around. Just swing your arms. And you don't have to swing them as fast as me either. And you don't have to do it like it does in the picture that you got where your arms go like this, go like this. But that's not going to say you keep your arms like that. Doesn't really matter. Just try to keep your posture straight, knees bent. You can even jump around if you want. Whatever. The point is to move these arms. Breathe deep if you can. Just keep it up. A arms. Ta-da! They just swing around. Let's see. Swing around. Swing around. Do a march. March. Oh, you do the A arms. You can do that too. Skip. <laughs> There's all these things you can do while you're doing the A arms. It's really fun. Really good. I think that's been almost a couple of. Uh, about two minutes worth of this now. The paper I gave you, we gave you here at the youth center, says do it for three minutes. It's a good warm-up exercise. You can breathe in, breathe out, breathe deep. Oh, it feels good. Feel that. This is actually my second time doing this. <laughs> And it feels better the second time, actually. Oh yeah, it feels good. All right, that's it. Now we're gonna move on. That's the first exercise. Hopefully you followed along. It's actually pretty nice. Don't forget, there'll be a question at the end of this video for a prize of a Twister game with a value of $22. <laughs> All right, so the next next segment is a segment on body language. And this one's gonna be called power poses. Let's talk about power poses for a bit. Body language affects how others see us, but it may also change how we see ourselves. Social psychologist Amy Cuddy argues that power posing, standing in a posture of confidence, even when you don't feel confident, can boost feelings of confidence and might have an impact on your chances for success. 
So for our exercise here, we're going to hold a power posture for two minutes, which is a long time. It feels your arms might be tired after doing it, depending on which power post posture you pick. You don't have to pick the same one as me, but I would like to suggest that maybe you do it along with me, just so you can see the benefits of how good you feel after doing these exercises. It helps to think positive thoughts while performing your power poses. You can also experiment between high power poses and low power poses. So we're gonna give a little contrast where this is a the open stance. Let's see, we can move this down a bit. The open stance. Just stand like this. Straight up. Versus the victory pose. This is a power pose. The victory pose. And then there's the hands on hip, the authority pose. Oh, feels pretty good. And then there's this, the relaxed pulse posture. I really like this one. I do this one a lot. It makes me feel relaxed. When I'm not relaxed, I just put my arms like this and lean back in the chair in public places. And it's cool because I feel relaxed. It feels right. I'm going to do this one for two minutes. While you're doing this, it's helpful to think positive thoughts. So if you can, just imagine, imagine a time that you really wanted something, or you really want, had a task that you wanted to complete. You had a goal in mind, and then you actually did the goal, and you had a feeling of success. Like say you wanted to hit a hockey puck into a net or shoot a basketball, into a hoop. Now, people do this automatically when they go, whoop, they go, hey, yeah. And then they don't keep their arms up for two minutes, but there's this thing about expectations. And when you do this pose and then you go out into the world and you just live, you feel more confident. And because you feel more confident, like you've already won, you behave more confident. That's my experience. I've done it for, I did this exercise for about a month. Now, when you're doing this, make sure that your posture is straight and you're not going like this. Because if you go bend over because you feel that pain, you're going to, you're not going to get the benefits because you're not doing the posture, right? It's all about posture. You just keep your arms up. You got about 30, 30. 30 seconds left. Feels like a long time. Like I said, with whichever power posing you're doing, just continue to hold it. It's only a couple of minutes now. Yep, we're having a good time here. Feeling good. And then once we reach the two minute mark, it's about the two minute mark. Just swing it out. Oh. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> All right, so that was a little bit of a exercise. So, so a question you have to answer in order to get this twister prize get entered into the draw for the prize is tell me which power what's what's one of the names of the either the first exercise I did today or of the power poses that I did that I mentioned today if you could tell me what the names of just one of these things you could give me one of the names of one of the postures or the exercises that we did today you'll get entered into the draw and you can have a chance to win our fantastic Twister Prize. This has been Vern from the Ground Level Youth Center. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for participating. And thanks for taking care of yourself because that's why we teach these things here. These are really good self-help exercises that you can just do at any time. And they've 
they've benefited me in a great way and i really hope that you try them out for yourself and i hope they work for you too ciao for now